Oh shit, it looks the exact same. That's nuts. Vincent. Shh, shh. The Grand Metropolis, where the ancients once gathered to pray, thought lost to time. Until today. The forgotten capital, people. This is it, right? You know, I think it is. Yeah, Grams told me all about it when I was growing up. He called it the forgotten capital. Said it was the heart of Cetran civilization. But I never thought I'd see it. And this place screams fancy altar. Parrot's gotta be here. And cool well, materia. Then, let's go get our girl. Whispers. Those black ones belong to Sephiroth. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say those assholes are fixing to get in our way again. Look at them, though. Thank you, Thana. Yeah. They're different. Don't belong to fate or the planet. They belong to Sephiroth. Yeah. I'm waiting, Cloud. <laughs> Stop. Why does he do the sweet, sultry voice when he says that? Like, Cloud isn't attracted to you, man. Oh, CG. What is all this? It's the end. <laughs> Sephiroth. Bro. Good, Aaron. Pray. It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. When spite and sorrow are harvested. To feed the planet. What'd you just say? He's harvesting spite and soil. To feed the- Oh, we're FF7 Remake again. Here we go. Here we go again! Why are these? Don't know. Those are Aeroths. They sure don't like us. Those are Aeroths, guys, I think. Who, who do you think the white ghosts belong to, guys? Heads Wait. up! No, no. White ghosts, please. <laughs> Whisper D. When three or more whispers are on the field, they will conjure a ward and apply various buffs and debuffs to the party. We're on your side, Whisper D! Whisper D! Deal with that. Alright! You're up! You're in good hands now! <laughs> you don't wanna take for mercy! Here I go! Get off my cloud! <laughs> He's finally back to normal. He's getting assaulted. <laughs> Keep it together. He's got oh. Got you now. Get him, Skater. Barrett. Bring it up. If you insist, you show me. 
Fuck this, Barret's gonna fucking lay the smack down right now. One more charging uppercut, how about it? Oh! Weapon of the Master, that's what we were looking for. I got it. Don't overdo it. Barret, get in there. Charging uppercut, come on. Okay. Yeah. You're done. Let's get this over. Deal with that. Why now? Come on. Here I go. You're a run like a chocobo? Just me? No XP? You already tested your fate in the first one. Come on. This is the truth. Aaron. Come on. No. Get him, Cloud. Oh. This. Go. Okay. Cue the music. Cue the music. Um. Do I have to do some battle arenas first? Don't worry guys, the ghosts will save her. Guys, it's okay if you like or dislike a story to a game. No one needs to fight about it. Not that anyone is, but I'm just saying. Oh! Resting station! Make sure your party is prepared? Alright. Can't like or hate a story if you don't know what the fuck's going on. Hey, well, hey, you're you're speaking the truth. Um, 
let me just let some people in on some information uh, if you don't know this ff7 in the final fantasy universe is similar to re4 there are people that fucking despise the og so if anyone hates this or the story or the direction or whatever else it's probably just as many people that hate the og <laughs> and both Parties combined are probably lurking in every stream. Uh, which is perfectly fine. I'm just relaying the information for those who don't know it. Um. Make sure my party is prepared. Alright, Cloud, you're my party. Now, are you prepared? Okay, we got elemental, we got auto cast, which is completely useless. Let's put on... How about... How about some magic efficiency? Hmm? Magnify is completely useless. Oh, okay. Just don't mind me, guys. Just doing my materia. Doing my materia, everyone. Success, enemy skill, HP up, vitality up. Looks good to me. All right, we're ready. I don't have much to say because I just want to see what actually happens. I think we all know what's going to happen, but... The ghosts are going to fly in, push the sword out of the way. Oh, Zack is going to dive through this portal on a motorcycle. Jump off his motorcycle with two busted swords. Fully materiated out. Silent Hill 2 Mary speech right now. I'm trying! 
I'm trying to stop him. Yeah! Zach! I can't handle this. The whispers won't allow it. <laughs> I don't believe that she's saved. I'm not this gullible. The other reality. Of course. It's okay. Harris. I don't know what's going on. She's good and she's not good. She's good and she's not good. She's good and she's not good. And so it began. <laughs> that's no, that's the no morale. Of worlds and emotions. Look, look, he knows. They hate it and love it. Moss, chief among them. It engulfs fleeting moments of joy, transforming them into rage. He knows. Sadness. He's talking to the audience. Hatred. Never have I felt them so keenly. God, Nomura put himself in the game. Nice wording. After all, you are just a puppet.
to Nova. Well, look who's decided to show their what ugly the fucking fuck face again. Why do Tifa and Red have their limit break up? I need a second, guys. Uh, I'm trying to enjoy both realities right now. Choir. All right, shall we? I just wanted to enjoy the music. because I thought it would just be me. <laughs> Unable to read the calamity from the stars that fell into a deep slumber after its conflict with the Cetra. Newly awakened through the grace of black-robed sacrifice, it seeks to seep its way into the life stream and bring about the end. <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> Cloud needs a Giga Potion three seconds ago. Don't give up yet! Good to go? Let's do this. <laughs> Zach. Sing it! 
chat. No Mura. Thank you. Just in case. Thank you, No Mura. Deal with that. Hang back. Can we all thank No Mura in the chat? Please. Don't overdo it. Materia on. It would make this a lot easier. You got this. I got this. <laughs> Get your party ready for the upcoming battle. Fucking okay. How? Pick up reflection. Oh, it worked. I'll take it. Heal us somehow. Hang back. Genova theme now. Fury. Now we're talking. 
Hurts. Coming in hot! <laughs> <laughs> Mind if we drop 
Coming in. <laughs> oh, this is fucking sick. Avalanche. There it is. Oh. You're ready to close it out in style. Long as you guys can keep up. Lady Lux brought us this far, and the rest is up to us. Can you help with that clown? Knuckle, you piece of shit. Actually, do that. Cancel the move on us. Hey, that is. Don't overdo it. Baron has 999. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is this is the move. Oh, uh, wait. Decreases charge. Life blood cannon. No, he's gonna miss! Oh, he just turned himself. Come on, one more. No, oh, of course that took all my shit. Barret. Let me get one off. They missed. Let's finish finishing. Let's do it. Knock on me. That was really fucking cool. I, I really like that fight. As chaotic as it was. HP and MP fully restored. That's a bad sign. You gonna fight Sephiroth in space? Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. What's Why, going on? As far as the eye can see. Final Fantasy Rebirth. Credits? Hey! Anybody there? Oh, please, please, please. I, I hope he gets into the fucking universe there. Please, please. How about that? Please. Yeah. Give him a touch. Touch him, touch him. Oh, don't kiss him, touch him! Well, nice to see you too. So, I hear you've been pretty busy. Oh. <laughs> but, menu. Why does it say menu? Zach? Zach. Hey. Uh, how's about we save the catching up for later? Sephiroth! 
Please let me see Zack in the menu. No, Mura, what have you done? He's a genius, guys. No, Mura's like, and then he touches Cloud, and he's then boom, they're. Uh, hey, I called it by the way. Look, they're fighting the galaxy. Called it, called it. Ah, oh, you can't cheese it. I was expecting, you know, if if you menu right there. Well, now I have to give these. Now I have to give these brave, or uh, not bravery. Now I have to give these magnify. Where'd the other one go? We have to give Zach all the buffs. Oops, not that one. Playing a Zek. Press square to slash with the Buster Sword. Hold the button to launch enemies into the air. Bring them crashing down. Charge up power with triangle to enhance chain slash and meteor shots abilities up to level three. We're learning a character at the last second of the game. What the hell happened to you? You're a soldier. How can you turn your back on everything we stand for? Easily. Right. Long as you get what you want, who cares who gets hurt? Is that it? You really got it coming. Don't overdo it. Charge up. Hang back. Zach. We need your full strength. Charge up. Oh. Taking over. Well, you will take the lead. Whoa! No! Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Let's do this. Leap into the air at Siren, enemy with comets. Oh, that's so sick. Bring it out. Let's go. If he can do it, ever. No, he's not gonna. My weak little puppet. Okay, we're getting theory. fucking clapped right now. You. This is embarrassing. Is that hatred even real? Gotcha. I gotta be careful. No, no fair. He has insane AOE. Alright, so we Giga Potion Cloud. Great. And then we full heal Zack. No, oh, wait, no way it gives you a synergy ability. Don't overdo it. Soldier's Honor. Cloud and Zack team up as soldiers to attack the enemy in tandem. Raise Cloud's limit level and grant Zack unlimited MP. Zack! <laughs> you will know me. He's doing Honor Slash! <laughs> <laughs> He's doing Honor Slash, actually. Dude, we, we both got the same. We both did it at the same time. I gotta. Fuck. Cloud, don't. Come on. Alright. Okay. Let me get some MP. Or let me get some ATB. Okay, Sephra, stay over there. He's dead. Fight. Oh, sorry. So 
long. Just as worlds unite, so too do they part. No! Cloud! Save her! Uh, things aren't looking good. Alone at last. Shall we? Can I get a full heal? Bro, nice hair. I'm let I'm like instantly gonna die. Yes. Oh, we got full HP. I'm finishing this. Tell him, Cloud. Let's hustle. <laughs> uh. Tornado, ghost tornadoes, ghost tornadoes. <laughs> Uh, I need to assess him. Too bad. A resurrected being who now wields unimaginable might and commands the arbiters of fate. He seeks to pierce through the layers of existence and reunite fragmented space time. He shall rule over the planet and create eternity. Yeah. Holy fuck, dude. That's, yeah. that's insane. We beat the Whisper Vortex. That'll teach it. Focus. Oh, I shouldn't. Okay. Not even a pregnant Sephiroth can stop Cloud. Climbing now. We are climbing Sephiroth's balls. I never thought I'd see the day. Uh, I thought we were supposed to start attacking now, but we're not in combat apparently. Holy catfish! Oh! And I'm just using another. Why not? I have 12 of them. Second wing. Come on. I'm fully buffed. Where is that one? Not prime mode. Uh, you know, it's, oh, oh, is this it? Yeah. Let's be smart. Stop with the swarming. You'd expect like Birth of a God to be playing right now. Hey, I was blocking that. 
Come on, Zach, show up here. Any sign? Maybe the whispers got him. You think they took him somewhere? Guys, where did the whispers take Cloud? Do you think you'd ever ask yourself that question? Mist potions. Mist high potion. That's embarrassing. Oh, I have cure. Cure on everyone. Time of their life right now in the chat. Oh, Left wing. Left wing has like two health. Tifa beat the shit out of it. Damn it. 
Come on, Zach. Look at it. Zach is back in the mix, baby. Oh, shit. Not again. Thank you, Siri, for the resub. Zach. So how do you, you do the charge again? At, ch at charge level three, press square with the right timing to unleash three consecutive strikes. I don't know the timing. I've never played Zack. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, come on! Come on! Dude, they should just let you fucking pound as Zack. But instead, I'm getting pounded. Gotcha. <laughs> this isn't cool. Wait, synergy? I saved all my elixirs for this, this moment, though. Trip. Together as one. Wow. On it. <laughs> in the towel. Pressured. All right. Time to go all out. Yeah. You're in for it now. Good going. Sorry. So what do I? We're not done here, oh! dude. You literally can't. That's so. It's actually annoying. You literally can't use Zach's abilities because, like, Sephiroth is attacking way too much. Come on, please. There we go. Just let me enjoy myself as Zach. Bye now. Nice move. Huh? Charging. That, I'm out of the range. All right, all right. We have high braver. Let's go. Oh, I see when you're supposed to do it now. I see, I see, I see. Does he have spells? Does he have spells? Does he have spells? All right. Does he have spells, he says. What am I, stupid? Soldier, of course he is. Remake. He's using remake. Okay, wait. 
before he gets staggered, we gotta get to the charge three. No, he's gonna remake me if I let him get to charge three. We have his limit, rush. Channel dreams of soldierhood. On my honor as a soldier! We're not done here! Oh! Bye now! Bye now, bye now! Gotcha! This is this is too epic, Nomura. This is too epic. Uh, he's pretty bold in himself. <laughs> then we keep fighting. Hey, that head here's looking pretty uh, hyped up. Call me crazy. We haven't even scratched it. Uh, We've uh, got to take out the barrier. Uh, it's those stupid waves. All right. All no. right. Watch it, learn. Uh, 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 yeah. Go for it. I'm counting on you. If you're in trouble, you're coming at you. Yeah. 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 It's so hard to do anything. Alright. That's those stupid wings! I trust you. Sephiroth's going in. Die. Die, Wings. How many times do we have to kill these damn Wings? We had some of our best potions. We've got to take out the barrier. No, it's those wings. I can't take much more. It's gonna be me. All right. One day I'll be able to hit the wing. It's gonna be fucking epic. Man, it's not hard enough to be a challenge, but it's it's hard enough to be really annoying. <laughs> They should have made this a lot more, like, free. I think. Alright, can we just... Can we kill the wing already? Maybe I'm supposed to attack something else. No, I guess not. Yeah, yeah, maybe I should use spells. I don't have any though. I'm stupid. Thank you. Not bad. Sorry, it's been we've killed these wings so many times my brain doesn't work anymore. Sorry, no 
This move with Barrett is not a good one. Got some fight left in you. Get back in the fight, Yuffie. Heartless Angel. Alright, everyone use your limit break. Get in there, Red. Jesus Christ. You gotta be kidding me. He still ain't dead. Oh no. Oh. There you are. Sephiroth! Sephiroth ain't even here. Come on, bring back Zack! Well, look who it is! Alright, just make us OP as hell for this, please! Let's this. Like, let's just let's fucking destroy him. Please, for the love of God. That would make it amazing. But if this is another, like, I'm up in the air for 9% of the fight. I underestimated you. Nah, she's gonna have every materia on.
I saw what you did back there, Cloud. Thank you. Save me later. This ain't over. Right. This is their this is their excuse okay, to use one way. <laughs> Go on! He's using whispers! This one's for you! Grip of fate, alright, I'll cast you later then. What do you make of this cloud? I assume she has every is spell. Any other dream? Oh, she, she has. Just a fever dream. Uh, Don't even bother. That shit won't work on me. Don't even fucking bother her. <laughs> whisper cannon. <laughs> it's the whisper. It's the fucking whisper cannon. <laughs> Attack Sephiroth when he's using Whisper Cannon. Don't kill it. Eric, get back into your invincibility thing. Unable to read. Epic. Don't not kill Eric. He already did it once. Don't you dare! Wow, oh, save it. One health. I'll take it. Right. Oh, zero health, All right? Whisper whirlwind! Whisper whirlwind! Whisper whirlwind! Alright, can you fucking. That's it! Oh no. Get him! That'll do! Cut! How about this? My favorite. Can you handle that? I got it. <laughs> She's dying to something over there. Deal with that. I'll I'll do what I can. This one's for you! Aerith has suffered enough! Stop it! My turn. Alright! Wait, wait, is there no synergy? No. Take him down. Right. My turn. That'll do. Uh, that's it. Wow. On it. Here he comes. Shall I sever your fate? No. A wicked argument. That is what Nomura can have versus all of your guys' complaints about the story. I won't let anyone hurt you. We are not in Midgar anymore. Can you take over? Take it over. Longer than like one winged angel in the OG by like quadruple. How many times are you gonna kill Aerith? Just leave her the fuck alone. Dude. Please! Please! Alright. Come on, man! Don't, don't make us suffer. Alright, here, get ready. We, we gotta pay him in a second here. You ready? As I'll ever be. Oh, Ascension, nice. Don't stop now. This. You're mine. I'll take Your hands. This one's for you. I have no mana. Come on, team. Enough. Okay. Freak yourself. Yeah. Is not the wicked yeah. argument. Yeah. Ah. I got 
slash prime look at this look at this screen retry from battle before current battle retry from this battle retry from before battle what the hell is this shit how many battles we have to have <laughs> by the way I I'm like enjoying this but at the same time it, it's a bit like, come on, it's a bit too fucking much. Like, there's a difference between, like, a boss having a bunch of phases and killing the same boss over and over and over and over and over. Retry from before current battle. But, but, what, but, no, it's this battle. It's this battle. You are wrong. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know the correct one. I'm. Don't worry, I'm not press. Dude, you think I'm gonna press this shit? This is more confusing than the story. How is this battle not before current battle? I'm. I'm press. Okay, I'm picking top. We're picking top. We're picking top. If you guys sabotage me to fight all eight forms again, I'm gonna. This fight is exhausting. There you are. Sephiroth! Here, I'll pause just in case. Da -da -da. Uh, yeah, so yesterday when I first started the temple and I was like, I think there's at least five more hours left and chat was like, yeah, I think so. Well, we were wrong. There's like nine hours left from that point. Come on, man. This shit's ridiculous. Oh, that's brutal, Elite. That's brutal. Let's On your left. Together. I must admit. I underestimated you. This should have been the second form. Like ten minutes in. Take me later. This ain't over. Right. Okay, let's finish this. <laughs> Alright. Get in your little thing. Take it over. Shall I Don't even bother. That shit won't work on you. Not 
We just play Aerith so she can heal herself. It's your turn. <laughs> I'll take care of them. <laughs> <laughs> How can you want them to suffer all this? Where's the world? How can you want an eternity of loneliness? Here he comes! Whisper world, 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 wind. Whisper world, 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 wind. Whisper world, 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 wind. Don't give up now, you guys. This one's for us. End this cloud. Whisper world, world, wind. Let's do this. Eat my, eat my. Perfect ass, Eric. You ready? Take him down. Here I come. Let's finish this. Why isn't my ATB going? One more shot! Get him! Here he comes! That's it! Cut! Goodbye. Here comes the wicked argument! No Why it, the, the, my ATB is like mad? My turn. Right. It's on you. So it's my turn? Hey, we have a summon this time. No, not that one. Who do I have? Yeah, Odin. Oh. Whisper Ganon! Okay, we need to use magic on the wing, fellas. It's obvious. Have fun. Yo, yo, but is that, but is that Odin? Sup, bitches. My horse is 40 legs. My my horse has has forty legs. Fuck you, set her up. No, oh, too late. It's your turn. Let's do this. My horse has has forty legs. Go on. The planet protection, baby. I'll help you through this. Let's end this, bud. <laughs> Try to out of this perfect ass. Let's go. Oh, get in there. Harry, you ready? Maybe a series of deadly strikes. Get in there, Odin. Go! Oh. Fucking Odin, boy. A wicked argument is about to be had. I got this. It's on you. Let's do this. I'm putting the controller down, Nomura. 
No more bullshit. He laughing. I refuse because to pick up the controller. He knows this isn't over. How long was that fight? <laughs> An hour, yeah. Jesus. Ready? Oh. Everybody's waiting. Oh, is she sending him back? Or are they both going back? Come on, both go back. Come on. What are they supposed to be fighting in? Like, I just assume these segments cannot be explained, so I don't even ask questions. Because they certainly ain't fighting in the live stream. I assume they're just fighting in between galaxies or something. Um, that's the end of Aerith, I guess. Come on. Give Zack. Trade Aerith for Zack, okay? That's not bad. We got him. Or reunite Zack with Aerith, one of the two. So this is it, huh? Time to say goodbye. No way. For now. For now, for now. Right? See ya! No. For now. <laughs> See ya. Dude. By the way, just really quick, I assume that was also their way of making it so Cloud is normal again. So in part three, he won't be in the wheelchair and he won't be doing any of that stuff. He'll just be normal and it'll proceed like always. But yeah, I... I don't know. She is, fellas. Oh, wait. Well, that wait. Is there there's two clouds right now? Or is he just tripping? Yeah. 
Parrot's crying. Can't stay here forever. We'd best get moving. Yep. Sounds good. Yep. I refuse to ask any questions <laughs> until I see the credits. I've expected a horror movie ending where Tifa turns around with a scary face and has like lifeless eyes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's clearly uh he's in between worlds right now. Which is what I see. Yeah, Hero, I think that's it. I have to admit, you were quite the man. Zack, Zack's peace out moment was a little... Ooh, underwhelming. <laughs> Glenn? It's not. Anyway, you haven't seen Viceroy Saruf, have you? He failed See ya. to show at an important event. Made us look like fools. Maybe he wouldn't have, if you'd spent some money on that set. Ah, uh, you're probably right. Rich kids do like things just so. Still got results, though, even without him. Resistance elements are more fired up than ever. You know, Glenn, I'm on to you. This war is nothing but a ploy to distract me from Sephiroth. <laughs> How very astute. Yeah, I was just about to clap too. Regardless, the uh, Glenn is and Sephiroth. The world, the world, the, wor the realities. The realities, they're merging, guys. Look! Accomplished by his son. Wait, Glenn is... I want the real thing, not some imitation. Or maybe he's just saying that because he's a clone. All you deserve. Goodbye, Glenn. Welcome back, Glenn. Huh? In the back. Just like old times. That's how we killed him before. Rufus is tripping too. Hit the wheelchair. So the thing that's confused, the only thing that's confused with that part, with the shifting and the clicking, like, it, are the realities actually like 
trying to converge themselves right now like the the like both that we've seen where Aerith is alive and one is she's dead like or is Rufus just having a cloud moment where he's getting the click because like but you're not supposed to get those unless you have Genova cells right does Rufus have those Thank you, Golden Puppy. Yeah, or he's just being messed with by Sephiroth, but Sephiroth can't mess with people like that unless they have the cells, right? He, I guess he's powerful enough that he can do it to anyone at this point. Genova cells can influence people in proximity. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, Genova's the all-powerful. Yeah, okay, I figured as much. It could be both, too. It could be both. Oh, the weapons! The weapons! Don't worry, we're not even- it's not even over yet. It's not even over yet, fellas. Oh, shit! You know what this means! You know what this means, guys. I'm waiting for the credits to roll at a horrible time. Oh. Good, good! I would have been pissed if Zack's last scene was that stupid See ya! Like, come on. No. I couldn't have dreamt that. It all felt way too real. Just as worlds unite. So too do they part. <laughs> Find the portal, Zack. But who's to say they can't unite again? Ouch. Abyss underscore boy. Thank you, Shani. Thank you, Phantom. Thank you, Golden. The and thank you, Abyss. <laughs> okay, what the hell did that mean? Sorry, I was like looking at chat for that. Was that in Zach's reality? Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you not raise it just a wee bit higher? Screw you, cat. How's this? No shit. Nice catch. So, what Aerith actually do anyway? She's right there, bro. Ask her. Well, and with that, we are cleared for takeoff. <laughs> Finally. No, she's not actually there. Just for Cloud. I mean, she is it's there. Not fair. Like this. This probably actually happened in the OG game where she was just around, but you no one ever seen her. You know what I mean? Like Aerith, like that's sort of her power. She can always be there. The life stream is everywhere because it's part of the earth. Like she is always there. It's just in this version of the game, we can see it happening. So like this isn't too far fetched, honestly. We just now we actually get to see her as opposed to she's just gone forever. But it could also be a double meaning where, like, the realities are trying to merge and Cloud is a part of both at the same time. Like, it's it's hard to say, honestly, but it's probably just that we get to see her. Harith? <laughs>
I can't tell if the materia is working or not. One sec. Oh my god, I was about to say. I was about to say one sec, gotta equip meteor. <laughs> you have to promise not to look up. Uh oh. Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine. But don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Okay, remember when I now said let's he... let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. Man, that... North? Trust me. He is. Soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> All right, fine. We trust you. Just remember, we got everything riding on this. And that's a load you'd best be ready to carry. The ear, the ear piercing no, sound. No. We're close to capacity as it is. Don't worry about me. I can handle it. Bro, you're scaring us. We didn't know. The sound is not the plane. The sound is meant to let us know Take that care. Cloud is psychotic. It's you supposed be to be okay an eerie thing. And if I said I wasn't? <laughs> Don't worry. It's like a second home. I guess. But what if... What if something happens? <gasps> then I'll send up smoke. Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. I'll put everything I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. A little on the nose. Trust me. You promise? Promise. Another Nomura masterpiece. Walking city streets with worn cobblestone. Listening to people rushing past to rhythms. I don't know how to feel about this either. Goodbye. The ending is a bit a bit much. No promises await at journey's end. Well, say bye to that promise they just made. Is she a ghost or a hallucination? It's up for interpretation. Like, there's no proof that it's anything at the moment. Right? Like, it's, it's like, well, no. Like, what it is is Cloud, in Cloud, Cloud's eyes, you know, he's in that ripped reality that they were in together before that. But he's also in the other reality where, like, Barrett and all of them are alive. So he's in the, he's in the place, you know how we played as Zack half the game, or a bit of the game? He's in that reality where everyone's dead, and at the same time, he's in 
the other one. And I think when when we had that original flashback like two hours ago, where Cloud and Aerith were standing in that room together, that was Cloud and Aerith waking up in Zack's reality, okay? Because she has to exist in that reality because she's alive in that one. And anyway, to some, it's, it's hard to explain. To sum it up, Cloud's in two mixed realities right now. One that Aerith is alive and only Aerith, and the other where everyone is alive except for Aerith. And he's, he's in like psycho land right now because like it, it, the game showed the player like Cloud's like, oh, and don't look up. And then everyone looks up and it's normal. And then Cloud looks up and everything's fucked, which that can mean many things. It could mean he's in the ripped reality where it's both trying to converge together. And also Sephiroth in this game might not only be trying to summon Meteor, but trying to merge all existences so that he wins in all of them. And I think what it's it's moving on to is that, like, this could secretly be a sequel to FF7. Like, like I think this is actually a sequel to Final Fantasy VII OG, where Sephiroth actually went back and he is making sure that in no FF7 remake or OG he loses. So in order to do that, he has to merge all the realities together and so that he drops Meteor on all of them and he wins in every single one of them. So there can't be some other like fi like super meta. There can't be another like Final Fantasy 7 remake where like he he loses again, you know? So now to prevent that, he needs to he needs to merge every Final Fantasy 7 reality out there, remake OG and whatever, Advent Children, all of them, and make sure he wins in every single one of them. And so to do that, he merges them. And the only one that's being effective on the merge right now is Cloud. Does that make sense? So by the end of part 3, we're going to learn that this isn't FF7 remake. This is another Final Fantasy 7. So how does that not make sense? I can explain it to you. I'm, I'm almost positive that's what they're going for. Like, what else could they be going for? Like, that's, like, with all the stuff Sephiroth said in those ripped realities, you know, and you fought him in all of the realities. Here's, here's how to understand it. In Final Fantasy VII, overall, like, Advent Children, all of them, there's many realities where at the same time Final Fantasy 7 is happening in many different realities all at the same time, all right? Okay? Sephiroth lost in the Final Fantasy 7 OG reality, but he can still win in all the other ones. And the only one that is consistently around in all realities and like coherent that he he can control himself in all realities is Sephiroth. He lost in the main one, which we played. Now he has to win in all of them, so he's merging them all together. It's not that I, I I have not watched Loki, but like I, this has to be a sequel. Make sense of it. Make sense of it in a way that it's not a sequel. Why would he be talking about merging realities? Why would he care? Why would he care unless that's exactly what it is? Okay, I was just checking if, like, I'm not saying I'm, like, objectively right. This is just, like, I strongly believe this is the direction that the game is going. And I'm fine with that, because then FF7 OG is its own thing, and it's an untouched game that still exists, and it still happened. In that, in the Final Fantasy VII OG reality, they won. That all happened. Aerith is dead, and nothing else has changed. And then in the sequel, you know, fuck, a different reality. Sephiroth is going to a new reality and fucking over everything. He's changing everything. So, um, that's how I see it. And it is a good way to, like, by the end of this trilogy, if that is, if that is the case, then, you know, fans don't have, like, purist fans or whatever else don't have to hate on this game because, you know, it's not, or, you know, they don't have to hate in this game in the, uh, in the thought process of like, oh, they butchered everything. They ruined my favorite game. Well, it's not, it's not FF7. It's, it's, it's another new product in the same universe with the same characters. 
and FF7 OG is still like in, in the canon universe, in that reality, he already lost. And now there's a very similar reality remake where he's trying to prevent himself from losing, prevent that from happening. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, Vin, she's, I mean, you know, that's... But the thing is, yeah, Panda, I see... That's, you can't make everyone happy with the remake. Even if the remake was one-to-one, -one, and let's say it was turn-based, people would still fucking hate it. Like, you can't, you can't win. People hate RE2 remake, and what did RE2 remake do wrong? The B scenarios were messed up. And the B scenarios is like 15% of the original game. It's not like a huge deal, but people fucking despise that game because they messed up the B scenarios, and everything else is absolutely perfect. Like, you can't win. It doesn't matter. I, I don't even want to take part in the conversation of like, oh man, they should have remade it one to one. Like, it's whatever. I thought this game was incredible, though. I I think this this is legit. The end. Okay, listen. I have like 90 hours in this game. The last three, four hours, the the last like two hours, the boss fight. I have a problem with the boss fight. I think the boss fight was way too much. Like, I thought that was way too much. Um. And I'm not the kind of person that an ending um, or a, bo a singular boss fight can ruin a game for me, especially 90 hours deep. That's like a one chapter of a, a like 80 chapter book ruining it for you. Like I, I'm just I don't I'm not wired that way. Um, and some people are, and that's cool. See, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But I think this is one of the best games I've ever played, in my opinion. And it feels weird saying that as we go through that ending, because that ending was fucking whack, dude. <laughs> like, it was, it, everything was perfect, in my opinion, until the last, like, two or three hours. And then I, I think that last two hours is where it'll split everybody. Like, that, and just like the first remake, too. Like, that, it's all great, fine, and dandy. And then that last two hours, that's where the community... Like, let's say 100% let's say of people that play this game played up until the temple crashing and then gave their opinion on the bulk of it so far i think a majority of people would love the game okay but then you get to that last sequence where you're fighting in three different realities you're fighting sephiroth in a galaxy with dead Aerith ghost like that's where people are gonna that's where they're out like it they their game went from a 9.5 to like a five okay and that's fine um, but I fucking love this game. I think this is one of the best games I've ever played. Like, there's so much attention to detail. There's so much amazing music. The mini game, the uh, Queen's Blood, and Queen's Blood not only being an amazing card game, my favorite mini game probably in the whole franchise, but it also having a tiny story to go with it. All the different mini games, most of them were really fun. A couple were ass cheeks, but there's just so much in this game. And, and, and so, um, what's the saying? Uh, less is more. I, I, I don't think applies to this. Like, a lot of the, the extra stuff was fun. You guys know me. I am not one to 100% many games lately with Tomb Raider in this. But, and not that I 100%ed it. But usually I skip the side quests. I skip the side content. I almost always don't give a fuck about the side content. But I did it in this game because it was really fun and I enjoyed doing it. And all the side quests actually had like a tiny little quirk to them that made them more enjoyable than like, you know, most side quests in games are like, oh, do this. My cat's stuck in a tree. You go find the cat, you fight and you fight enemies, you go back, you turn it in. That's like 90% of the quest. And in this game, there was always Ouch. something. There was always like a unique element to every single side quest, it, whether it was a mini game or some like a new introduced mechanic or, or something. You, Bork, Bork you know what Bluff. I mean? Like the one where you have to slowly lead the chicken with, you lead the chicken with your little canister and then the other where you're riding the chocobo through the rings. You know, every side quest has its own thing and that made them really enjoyable to do. And I was always eager to see what the new thing in the next side quest was gonna be. When typically I do like five side quests, they're all the fucking same. They're all super boring where you just do some mundane task and you click the action button and I stopped doing them because I hate them. But in this game, they actually felt worth doing. And some of the rewards felt great too. I can't say enough about this game. I, I think that it was incredible. I enjoyed all of it. Like, um, fleshing out Yuffie's character 
was amazing. All the new stuff with Barrett. Look at Barrett on the screen. Barrett was like an incredible character. All the I think the thing I love most about Final Fantasy VII OG is the characters and the music, and they nailed both of those things. Like the care. Look at look at the care. Look at him. Look, the characters in this game were incredible. Like. And that's one thing I love, and, and I don't think many people can deny that the characters are great in this game. Even the side characters. Like Dio and Dine. Look at those fellers. I had Tifa at the Gold Saucer date. And no, not Chadley. I hope in the, I hope in part three they just I hope in part three they get rid of Chadley. Add a new just just ditch fucking Chadley. They added a backstory for Chadley that like sets him up for part three, and I hate that. He's gonna be part of part three. But thankfully, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. I mean, if you're here, you're not worried about <gasps> spoilers. But Chadley might be a uh, evil person in part three. Thank God. So we'll fight him instead of talk to him. Why is Chadley hated? Because he is the he is the element of this open world game that every open world game has where there's a certain character that doesn't leave you alone ever and gets really annoying and that's him. Like the character that just breaks the immersion. Like before you can even have a chance to think about what just happened in the story cutscene or what just happened in your gameplay, your phone is ringing and you're answering Chadley and Chadley's opener, which is three paragraphs, is the exact same as his opener was every single fucking time he calls you. Oh, Cloud, I see that you've just done this. Oh, I'm so proud of you and, and you're going to do it. I know you can. Anyway, I have a new quest for you. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, cut to the chase. Just come up on the side of my screen. Chad, he's got information for you. I don't need a, 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 the ringing of the phone, pulling out the phone, the screen opening, Chadley appearing and staring at you for literally a second every single time before he starts talking, opening with the same line he always opens with every single fucking time, and then he starts saying what he wants to say. Like, cut that shit and just make it, like... You want to talk to Chadley? Press the button on your controller. And then that gives the player a choice. Don't force it on the player. Forcing it on the player means they have to sit through that bullshit, then they press pause, then they go press skip. Instead of the players, the minority, the players that want to hear what Chadley says every single fucking time, which is like a thousand times, they get to press the button and hear it if they want to. That is what they should do. That is what they should have done. That is objectively better. And it's what most good games do. It's like, you know, you pick up an audio log. Would you like to listen to this audio log? Most players? No. They don't press the button. But Chadley's that forced, like, you're listening to this audio log. By the way, the first two sentences are always the same. That's like every time, that's like you, you're reading a novel, and at the start of every chapter, you have the, the, the first page of every chapter is the exact same, and then you get to read the rest of the chapter. Like, come on. Yeah, dude, R Razor, I was watching other people that don't usually skip dialogue, <laughs> skipping Chadley, and I'm like, yeah, he's that bad. But overall, guys, like I said, the game has incredible music, incredible acting, like the voice acting is done so well. The characters are done, they look amazing, they sound amazing, all the different gameplay mechanics with each character and how they play is diverse. Like every, Barrett plays completely different than Cloud, who plays completely different than, uh, Aerith, who plays completely different from Cat She. Like, they all have their own playstyle, and everyone that plays this game will have their favorite characters that they enjoy playing as. It's not just like a normal RPG where everyone has all the same spells. I mean, they can in this game, but they all have their quirks too. And you can customize them to play even differently than, than they normally, their base player No Materia plays. Like, the customizability of the combat systems are done so well in this game. I love them so much. Uh, like, this is my favorite combat of any Final Fantasy game ever. It's just, I know to some people that haven't played the game yet, or maybe you have, it just looks like you're mashing. But you mash the square button to build up your ATB, and then you spend that ATB on other stuff. And in normal Final Fantasy, this is how I play normal Final Fantasy, like f 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, OG, 8, 9, 10. 
most of the battles you just you spam as well you're just pressing attack because why bother pressing anything else it dies just as fast and you don't spend mana if you just spam the attack button that's like 90 percent of the fights minus boss fights in final fantasy classic games so the fact that you're doing it again in the remake you know people look at it as like a negative it's the same thing except you're pressing the button a little more to build up that meter to actually then do your spells and the whole skill to, I always I've seen this in chat a few times mainly it was driven by one fucking chatter who's just like baby raging but like that this this combat system takes a far more skill than classic despite belief you you have the same complexity of an RPG but it's real time and you press the button a bunch to get your ATB meter up as opposed to sit there and wait But yeah, I, I love this game. Overall, god tier game. Like, uh, like the amount of freaking content and the the pacing of the story. Like, man, if you like skipping side content like I usually do, the story just keeps going and going and going. Like, I, it was so hard to do side content because I was so excited to see what was next to the mainline story. Like, the mainline story was so gripping. Like, I just, over and over, I just want to see what happened next. I just couldn't resist. I mean, I was doing like 12 to 15 hour fucking streams every day. Like, I just wanted to see what was coming. Over and over and over. But yeah, like, I feel like people will be way too focused on the ending when they're discussing this game. When in reality, when I, in my current review, I, I put little, very little emphasis on it. I think it'll matter far more in, in part three. Possibly waste. Yo, Chris Wardfield, thank you for the tier two. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's, I mean, game of the year so far. Yeah, I mean, nothing else has come out this year, really. Unless, am I crazy? Birth of a God is at the end of the game. Dry, well, Dragon, I said, come out yet. <laughs> Dragon Saga 2 is not out yet. Oh yeah, like a dragon infinite wealth. I hear that was a very, very good game. Ah, oh, man. I love this, though. It's funny. Like, 98% of this game, y you go into this, like, at the end of FF7 Remake, with the Zack stuff, you go into this thinking it's gonna be insane. Like, crazy. Story is out of nowhere, off the wall, like, nothing like the OG. But it's actually extremely similar to the OG, all the way until the ending <laughs> and then the ending's like all right let's open the fucking eight realities and fucking eight different separas three boss fights at the same time that are all the fucking same thank you captain thank you thank you thank you that genova fight was sick yeah that was amazing Man, what a game, though. This is some of the most fun I've ever had playing a game. And it made me extremely happy. I think they definitely did FF7 justice. Especially for new fans. Like, new fans aren't going to be affected by a lot of the stuff that people are going to dislike about this game. But also, new fans will, at the end, at the end, will be like, Okay, I don't understand anything that just happened. I don't know. Maybe they will. I think the ultimate thing you have to understand is Sephiroth can control all Genova cells, and in this, in this, like Advent Children Sephiroth and whatnot, can basically is basically just like a god who can traverse realities, and you need to understand that. But yeah, I sort of figured that the ending would maybe go down this path because this is one of the few games that I've streamed. Oh, I could take follower only mode off now. Um, no one spoiled anything because it's, and I figured this is the reason. You are not playing, you are not in the top two rows of Twitch, streaming a game 10 hours a day, every single day, 
And having no one in your chat spoil something, unless there's nothing to spoil, really. Like, seriously. The opener fucking line when I started my stream for Ari Village was the person that dies at the end. That was the opener line. And I'm just like, nice, dude. Great. Um, and in this game, I streamed for 80 hours and no one has said anything. So I was just like, if no one says something this, this long, <laughs> then it takes paragraphs to spoil it. Hey, or I've been, I have like 90 hours in the game. Actually, I'm not sure. I'll have to see how many hours. That was incredible though, man. Honestly, one of the best games I've ever played in my life. Just the... It's hard for me. I, I wish I could explain this better, but if you just if you're very easy going with games and you like games very, it doesn't take much for you to enjoy a game. Like the amount of passion and effort put into this is fucking insane. Like I noticed some people just seem like a generic open world game where you do your checklist, but really, man, this had a lot of love put into it. Ah, fuck, my salad dressing wasn't... wasn't as fucking gelatinized. God damn it. I already dumped it in. Alright, where's my after credits? Yeah, baby! Here, I'll mute. selection and her difficulty are now available. Items can't be used. Ooh, you can you can do the date with anyone. You just choose. Whoa. Okay. Uh. 
91 hours everyone 91 hours the stats one sec I'm almost done A streamer, you know, has 252 hours. Well, they got the game insanely early then. Almost done. <laughs> One oh five hours. So <clears throat> perfectly executed odd jobs. Enemy intel collected. Wow, we had a lot of um, enemies assessed. Weapon abilities learned. Oh yeah, catch she. Manuscript. Look at the Musclehead Coliseum challenges. Ah, oh, I must have failed. I must have failed one of the conversation fellers. Two synergy skills. Shit. 3D brawler match. Damn. Actual, like, literal 100% is brutal in this game. <laughs> like, good luck, me. I don't think I can get away as a streamer. I don't think I can get away with attempting real 100%. Like hard mode, yada yada yada. Hard mode mini games. We did both of those. I have mo like I have the hard stuff done. Or like, okay, I, I'm I, a lot of the hard stuff is already done. Like all the hard mode mini games and gold saucer are done. The only thing I have is like the the bulk of what I didn't do. 
is the freaking combat sims. I, I don't know. What is the platinum trophy? I guess we could check now. Will this update unless I close the game? All possible items. It's separate from the 3D brawler. Wait, these are the only ones I have left? That's not bad. It's pretty easy. Oh, wait, do some of the treasures come with like finding them out in the open? So wait, do I have to choose a chapter? Certain manuscripts can only be obtained on hard. Seven star hotel is a nightmare. I did finish the game. So wait, it, if I load, let's say I load this chapter, will I still have the boat and everything? Oh, Chocobo Pico will not be available until you wrangle him. You will need to restart all unfinished quests. I won't spoil it for anyone. Dude. One second. I, I know I selected that. So wait, where did didn't inform me that I had like triple XP bonus or anything? Where do you see that? Or did it? Uh No, he's here. Oh wait, no, he's not here. Oh wait, yes he is. But he's grayed out. So we So we can't use him. It doesn't say it. Hang loose. Here, let's go see Johnny for a second. Hang loose, guys. Level 70 in 20 minutes, he's yeah, I can Le chapter 12 is the one you want. So you can still fast travel like instantly with chapter 12? Where's 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 the where's the Johnny? Remember, you're all come one, come all. Oh, we get the new costumes. One sec, one sec, it fellers. Oh, they're not here yet, I guess. Oh, yeah, gotta buy them. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, we have the important one. Got a real good selection today. Any material that moved. That Johnny's one heart. Oh, Johnny's boxes got moved. Johnny's seaside. So got anything rare and exotic for me? Oh, he's got a, a locked chest. Yeah, we're still oh, missing a few things. Collection isn't actually his. It's all his stuff. That's true. That's true. The baseball bat. Oh, so the baseball bat is a... Oh, wait, wait. 
Oh, these are the these are the weapons from the first game. They're from the OG. For a second, I got confused. Yeah, using the OG weapons would have been pretty cool. Yuffie only has two. The boomerang and the fucking slicerang. It's changed so much. I, yeah, yeah, the, the final boss stuff was a bit... I, I agree. That's probably the only part I... Like, one of the only parts I think is... Oh, shit. Did we not do this? Oh, we did. Time trial. Platinum earrings. Even though our best time is better than rank three. One sec. Come back once you're good and ready. It's fine, but... There's something I want to check really quick. Yeah, like the ending for me... <laughs> like, it's just something that is so weird and out there. I don't really... It just doesn't bother me and I also- I don't hate it, but I don't like love it. I'm so like indifferent. It's- it happened. It's whatever. Part 3 has a nice setup, I think. That's what really matters. Hold on to your hats, Koopo! Hold on to your Two things I want to see. Got your dick in order. Nothing. So, do you need to play on hard mode to see Sephiroth in the bra in the brawler? Oh, gotta complete the- Oh, the middle manager, of course. Got a big pile of points to trade me? Okay, guys. Ooh. Oh, there they are. A thousand each. All right. Listen, fellas. There's something... There's something for gamers called post-game depression. I can't, with a straight face, just dick around in this game after seeing that ending and beating the game. I'm done. I just wanted to check a couple things. Um, I can't play anymore. Thank you, Dark and Rose. Thank you so much for the 80 months, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Post-game nut depression, yeah. I am, I don't know what I want to do for the rep, for like, I will play Dragon's Dogma 2, but I don't know what I want to do for the next few streams. Um, like, I do want to play hard mode in this, but let's be real, the, the Final Fantasy Rebirth in general doesn't do well on Twitch unless you're at, like, an insanely hype moment. If you're just playing the game, it, it's, it's um, you know, a lot of people want to see other stuff. So I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. Um, like, I do want to play hard. And I, I, like, 100% in this... <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little repetitive uh, let's be honest um i think like a bulk of the stuff is easy but what sucks is you have to go around every single rage in the entire game this is this is the big one for me and you have to sniff with your chocobo because some of the toys in the game are hidden in extremely specific locations you need to go with your chocobo walk around and wait till there's a sniff option and find them like shit like that would take like like I, i'm all i almost almost have a hundred percent if you count like the really really hard things i've already done and even with that the monotonous shit i have left is 
easily like a hundred more hours easily am i wrong or what do you guys think i'm close to right i don't know i i i did all the cards i did every single card game maybe not a hundred hours easily is a stretch but i do want to do gigglemesh actually yeah a hundred is is too much yeah it's not a hundred it's definitely not a hundred but I haven't done a single combat simulation for Chadley, or like I've done a couple, and I haven't done any of the combat simulations in the Gold Saucer. Yeah, 30 to 40 hours sounds more realistic. But it's like getting the relationships up to max, you have to replay entire chapters. And then hard mode alone is another like, you know, 25, 30 hours. It's, this game is far longer than Remake. Um, I think so, Red Comet. Oh, I'm done with OG FF7. Yeah, pal, that's true. I've seen a screenshot of 100% rebirth save and it showed the timer at 180 hours. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Um, you can Final Flash. I recommend you do that. Maybe I will um, stream some more of this, maybe. Uh, and I'll do the monotonous stuff off stream. Like, Chadley's combat simulators are so brain dead. No one wants to watch that. I know some of you say you would, but it's legitimately just like spamming the fucking attack button for a few hours. And then the Hojo ones, and then the combat simulators from the Gold Saucer. It they're just it's just brutal. <laughs> it's just it's just brutal. Um Yeah, and I wouldn't mind seeing all the story cutscenes again. Like I I loved the story. The only problem with the story is it, it's not the problem. The only like, the only issue, potentially, with the story is the very end of the game. I will definitely stream Gigglemesh, uh, like if if I do it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me in this insane journey that was FF7 remake. Um, I truly did love this game and you guys in chat being here made it so much fun because it, it takes a lot out of me to stream a game that I know is going to do bad on Twitch and YouTube and it's not this isn't a me thing it's just it's it's just a bit of um uh, uh transparency with you guys about like streaming as a job and stuff um streaming these kinds of games it's it's not it's not me it's 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 the nature of streaming jrpgs don't do very well and um so anytime you stream them as if you're a smaller streamer it doesn't matter what you stream all 200 or 300 or 400 of your viewers will be there but when you get a little bigger um you know it starts to get worse the bigger you are the much worse it gets like if if like queso or jinxie played ff7 like the biggest streamers on twitch there they would cut it in like 50 60 70 percent um anyway what i'm getting at is that um i just really appreciate those of you who actually came here and watched me you spoiled the game for yourselves you not only did you spoil the game but you clicked on this on my stream to watch me play ff7 rebirth and i really appreciate that i think it's super sick to have you guys here and and just make memories and see everyone hyped about the game for the most part or just see all the opinions on the game and it's just been awesome. It's been so much fun streaming this and I legitimately think it's one of the most fun games I've ever played in my life and I cannot fucking wait for part three and as well as people that watch for FF7 OG, thank you. Because um, for me, these are magical moments and I've been playing games all my life. I love video games so much as all you guys know and um, this is one of those ones that's just going to stick with me for the rest of my life and it's just cool to have the people here that, that came and enjoyed. It's awesome. Thank you, Anacard. Thank you, Ole. Thank you, Keg, for the resubs. Uh, yeah, it's it was just really, really fun to do this and put like 90 hours in less than a week or in a week, actually, 90 hours into this game. I, I truly, truly loved it. And I'm sure part three will be just as fun, just as magical to play through. 
And I can't fucking wait for that day. Anyways, I probably will take tomorrow off because uh, I have streamed more in the past three months than I have in my entire life. Uh, so, yeah, I might take a day. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, depends how I feel when I'm waking up tomorrow. But yeah, thank you. Maybe on Saturday I'll do a marathon or something. I will let you guys know. Anyway, thank you everyone. It's been unreal. Yeah, Lamity boy. Uh, well, I, I I will go back to Tomb Raider. I will. We're we're gonna finish the achievements of Tomb Raider. They just didn't patch it yet. I I can't get the achievements yet. And I don't want to start a new file to like do the speedrun stuff because I'd have to save over my other things. Uh, so yeah, I think they plan on patching it like this week or something. So. But yeah, they still didn't patch Tomb Raider. You still can't get the achievements, unfortunately. Um, but hopefully they will soon. Maybe I will just do the speedruns for Tomb Raider just to... and not use all the save slots, but... I have saves at, like, every every achievement I need to get. So, like, I don't want to save over them. All right. Thank you, everybody. Uh, maybe I will play more of this. Uh, we'll see. Like, stream more. Uh, stream the Giggle Mesh and stuff. Um, I'll let you guys know, but... I'm going to take a day or two and uh, figure out what we want to do with the stream until Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out. I will play Dragon's Dogma 1 most likely, or at least I'll like boot it up and play a little bit of it and feel it out. Yeah, thank you, Auntie. But yeah, thank you, everyone. This has been incredible. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be back um, maybe tomorrow, probably Saturday. All right. Thanks again, everybody. Have an awesome night. You guys are incredible. I really, really appreciate your support and hanging out. And I'm just so glad this game was as good as it was. I had a lot of fun. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have an awesome night. And have an awesome weekend if I don't see you. Bye, everybody. Thank you for all the subs, the resubs, and the follows, by the way. Thank you. All right. Bye, everyone.